What is going on guys, Scapsito here, bringing you a League of Legends commentary. And today I have some Katarina gameplay for you after two Katarina videos lately. Uh, I guess you could call them sketches, not commentaries. This is my first Katarina commentary, but those, uh, those were short uh, Katarina videos. Uh, so if you haven't heard or uh, haven't watched the videos yet, it's pretty much a pentakill that was stolen when I played Katarina, I got a quad, and then it was stolen by a stupid Jinx with her ult halfway across the map at a random ult pretty much, and I was pretty pissed. But um, for Karma, I got another pentakill the next game I played with Katarina. Not the next like League of Legends game, but the next game I played with Katarina. I got a pentakill and that was pretty cool um, so I made that into two videos actually uh, I got the second I got the pen the real pentakill that wasn't stolen after I actually uploaded the first one so that was quite quite a cool coincidence I guess guess but Katarina is really really fun to play and that's I've actually started to kind of main her as a mid champion and I do pretty well with her. I mean, she's really easy to counter. As you can see, I'm gonna get the first blood here. Diana is one of the best counters in the game for Katarina. And the reason being is that she is good in like one v close up one v ones. They're both melee champions, and Diana can, you know, cancel Katarina's ultimate by just pressing E, uh, and then shield a lot of her. Um, damage otherwise so it's not very hard to uh, play diana versus katarina but i think this diana actually picked this is a ranked game but i think this diana probably picked diana be just because she was the counter and not because she could play her <laughs> and that's never a good idea you should always take a champion that you're good with and the counters won't really matter that much um if you're equal in skill with someone that uh, has a counter champion to you, you're probably gonna lose. But if you're really good with your champion and the enemy just counter picks you because that's what the internets told him or her, that's that's not good. Uh, I'm gonna roam bot here and get a kill on Nami, and then I'm gonna go for Ezreal right, right here. He's gonna use his barrier, uh, but I'm still gonna go after him. Thresh is gonna. Flash, do a nice E right there, and that's pretty sweet. So Diana is not gonna have the balls to go in, I think. I don't, I don't know. She is. She's gonna have the balls, and I'm gonna E over her. Thresh is gonna do a beautiful hook. That's just the best hook I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm gonna go after her for the kill steal, of course. Um, as always. Uh, not really. They couldn't have killed her, but whatever. I have a lot of mobility, so that's pretty cool. And now. Moo Moo, fucking a Moo Moo is gonna come with his Q like one split second before I could recall and I was actually watching the shop so I'm gonna flash and I don't have any <laughs> like I had my E but I couldn't jump ward jump to anything because I didn't have a ward so she killed me or he killed me with his ult because he was afraid that I would ward jump I guess so he just panicked and pressed his ult so here I'm gonna come back from um or in my lane again and I almost killed Diana there there dear dear I almost killed her dear that's the most swinglish ever um, and I'm actually gonna try to dive her but it's gonna fuck up and she's gonna turn around and that was really stupid because I didn't think the turret was gonna target me but it did and I died unfortunately um, so how I build Katarina she's like I used to build her with an hex tech for the for the spell vamp because I didn't you don't have any other su sustain with uh, Katarina so I figured out spell vamp is needed and I didn't I, I don't I figured out I shouldn't um, get the uh, will of the ancients I think it's called you know that that item that used to give you gonna get a nice double kill that there uh, but I'm fortunately not gonna be able to escape but the item that used to give like aoe spell vamp uh, it doesn't 
uh, do that anymore. So that's why it's kind of, why it's kind of useless. Uh, it, it gives you mana regeneration. And uh, Katarina doesn't have any mana. I think it also gives you cooldown reduction now. And Katarina doesn't really... Uh, she do doesn't really need that anymore either. Uh, or she she's never uh, been in need of cooldown reduction because of her passive. So... Uh, Hex deck I did get that quite uh, sometimes even if the AD is not going to be that useful But I've actually stopped buying the Hex deck. It's kind of season 2 I guess <laughs> Season 3 uh, Because you shouldn't really be getting harassed in late game You shouldn't You don't need sustain you know Play safe and then you suddenly go in There's no return It's not like you do sustain damage that you need to heal yourself up but I've always thought it was pretty nice to do like uh, an ult um, and heal up at the same time. Uh, but you, do, you don't really need that. Late game, you're just going to one-shot people pretty much. or kill them really fast and get resets and end the team fights pretty quickly. So uh, you're not going to be harassed and you won't need sustain. So right here, I'm in a 2v1 situation. I go for a Mubu to get my resets and I do have flash. I'm going to... Go in with my ult. Fortunately, not kill Diana because Nami shows right up right the second where um, to almost kill me. And I could have waited like one second to kill her, but it was really risky because uh, first of all, Diana could turn. Nami had a good ultimate and she could also heal her. So I almost got killed there at the end and decided to go back. Um, so I'm gonna roam bot once again. Roaming is a really important thing uh, when playing Diana. Or, uh, <laughs> what am I talking about? Katarina. And I'm gonna get, almost get a triple kill there, but Udir is gonna and kill Steel. He's gonna fucking kill Steel. What a bastard. And I am going to dive here. So, Diana isn't really... Even if she's the, the best counter, or one of the best counters to Katarina, Syndra might be the best counter to Katarina, I don't know. But even if Diana is one of the best, you could still play safe in lane and just farm with your Q. Your W has a bit more range, at least more range than your uh, auto attacks. And you're probably going to get some farm. And then you roam bot uh, if you can't kill Diana. If it's a good Diana, you... Uh, probably shouldn't try to kill her uh, if you're not like really far ahead uh, She can look at that. I'm gonna level up right <laughs> At the last tick of the ignite and I'm gonna survive it so cheeky, but you know, it was all skill I, I it was calculated. You know, I calculated that before I went in Totally I hate when people say that like they're like calculated get away with 10 HP calculated Totally calculated that one. It's so stupid. I remember playing with one guy, uh, or against one guy, and I think I played Lux, and I used my ultimate, and he got away with like really nothing left on his HP or something like that. And he was like, calculated, and what the fuck, you know? You're like, what the fuck, what the fuck? It's not calculated. It's it's luck, man. You, you, you totally didn't calculate that. Just be honest, man. Stop it. Stop. Stop. So, uh, so he's just like, oh, well, as far as I'm concerned, your ultimate is not random, uh, number something. And he was trying to convince me that, um, it wasn't luck. And just because my ultimate doesn't do a random amount of damage, it, it, I can't get lucky or unlucky. So he thinks that. League of Legends is all skill, it's not any luck. Of course it's luck, you stupid shit. Sorry for that. But this is gonna be a failed team fight actually. Uh, I am going to forget to use my Sonyas. And if I did, you know, Sonyas is a really, really great item to ca on Katarina. Because if <laughs> she relies completely on getting kills and getting resets of your uh, ult or your passive so if you don't get kills you're just gonna get like one ultimate off and it's probably not enough uh, so you you rely a lot on your passive so if you don't get any kills or you don't get or if you only get one kill the best thing to do after an ult and you don't have anything to do pretty much 
is to press your Sonyas and wait for the cooldowns to come up because that's gonna be like three seconds of just standing there and probably getting an assist or a kill during that time and then you can come up again and kill someone because you've almost had everything reset again probably your e probably even your ult uh, definitely all your other spells and this is so stupid he's gonna run flash and barrier and E and do all sorts of stuff and I'm not able to jump him because I don't have uh, any war there and uh, so that's gonna be a bit greedy but the minions are gonna push almost uh, to get a turret and we're gonna go for another uh, another dragon right here so for a build with Katarina I'd go uh, Rabadons of course uh, I actually kind of rush Rabadons because uh, Katarina is a glass cannon just go in and do damage champion you know if you get interrupted with your ultimate you're fucked so there's no point of building her like tanky or anything uh, it's just go in when the enemies have CC on them or they don't have any CC to stop you so what I do is you could rush Rabadon depending on uh, how much farm and kills you get early you could get a needlessly large rod early because that's gonna give you sick amounts of damage you first of all you don't need any cooldown reduction because of your passive you don't need any mana regeneration because you don't have mana duh and you don't need any uh, you might need some magic assist if the enemy is really fed but I still wouldn't go for that because you got a lot of mobility with your E but Rabadons could be rushed and then you would probably get a realize I get a realize this game and avoid staff is really good and for last item if you want to go for something defensive you could get Banshee's Veil so you don't get like poked or harassed or hooked or CC'd uh, or anything like that because if you do you're fucked you're killed in like one second that's why Katarina has a really risky pick but thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see you in that next video peace <laughs>